There was only one guy, Thucydides, that wrote the history. He was an eyewitness. And despite the fact that it doesn't say it looks like it is the first real world war, because every city-state in the known world were fighting or just signing with one party or the other. But that was then. And the great thing about Peloponnesian War is that the history that comes to us is written by the losing party, because Athens lost and Thucydides was Athenian. But uh, at that time, 2,000, 3,000 years ago, the leader of that conflict, they just managed to have a peace that was lasting. I mean, we see that afterwards uh, when the Empire of Persia tries to occupy Greece, all the city states of Greece join together and for the very first time they say that we are not Spartans or Athenians or Thebians, but we are Hellenas, which means it's the ancient name for Greece. Today the situation is different. We have the television, we have the internet, we have the press, we have the commentators, we have the radio hosts. Everybody sees the reality, so it's slightly different. I mean, no matter what Virginians can tell themselves or lie to themselves, the reality is uh, out there blinded. This is a mistake and people got sick and tired of waiting from the politicians. It's not a social unrest, it's just the will of history. I think history will side with uh, Washingtonians on this aspect. I mean, it always has. Not because it's the underdog or anything, it's just everything was blue over white. The land was given and the land should go back the way it was. And when the people want it, the free people want it, there is no way that some politicians in some kind of back rooms or lobbyists will try to silence them.